You cannot deny the impact the Coach Prime has had on CU football, impact on the field and off. Boulder's Visitors Bureau said CU's first home game against Nebraska generated $18 million in economic impact. That number was shared by Coach Prime on his son's YouTube channel. That number was shared during the ESPN broadcast. That number needs a closer look from our Marshall Zellinger. When college kids are awake at 6 a.m. for nationally televised pregame shows, there's a fair chance they're spending money that otherwise would still be on their nightstands. Buzz does equal bucks. Just how much? That's up for debate. Last week for the home game, there was an estimated $18 million regional economic impact. The play-by-play -play announcer for the CUCSU broadcast shared a dollar amount that Coach Prime mentioned on his son's YouTube channel. They say the city made uh, 18 million last weekend. They are Visit Boulder, the Convention and Visitors Bureau. The estimate for the CU Nebraska game was regional, not just Boulder, and it was provided by an Oxford, England company that estimates economic impact of events. That is just for the one game they are saying, right? 18 million one game? Yeah. Yeah, that's optimistic. MSU Denver economics professor Kishore Kulkarni does not doubt Boulder benefits from the success of Coach Prime. With students filling campus at dawn on a weekend and 16,000 more fans at Folsom through the first two games this year compared to last year, it's just the dollar amount he doubts, but not the impact of people making money selling T-shirts or B&Bs filling all their rooms for the night. They go out to... to um, buy probably a beer and then uh, they go out to buy groceries and shopping they probably buy a car so essentially there is a second round of expenditure that happens with this additional income. regardless of what the final dollar amount is coach prime put his finger on impact perhaps more meaningful than money i'm not really talking thinking about the economical impact really i'm thinking about the social impact um i'm seeing i'm seeing more african americans um than I've ever seen before, uh, sprinkling it throughout the stands and the stadium and at restaurants and everything, and I, and I absolutely love it. And that can't be denied right now. The reason we even looked at this today, economic impact estimates get thrown around for marketing purposes often. When Taylor Swift was in Denver in July, one estimate had the economic impact at 140 million bucks. But from a tax revenue standpoint, it was minimal. Between sales tax revenue and hotel and lodging tax revenue, the city of Denver saw not quite $1 million more in July this year, Kyle, than last year. I get it, that's just tax revenue. There's yeah. other ways to figure out economic impact. But, I mean, just $1 million to the city coffer, I can't, I mean, 140 was the estimate. It felt high. A lot of these things get tossed out because they're feel-good things. And a lot of journalists will repeat them and not question them because they're not Marshall Zellinger. Uh, but the experts you talk to say even this early, like a week or two later, sometimes it's too tough to do the snapshot and be like, that's how much was generated. Yeah, uh, the professor said, you know, if you're selling cowboy hats and sunglasses, yeah. you're getting money that you weren't going to normally get. Maybe six months from now, you're going to buy a car. And then it's the trickle down. I should point out, we both, Noah Pransky, NBC reporter, has done this on the Swiftonomics, and if you haven't seen it, check that out, because he has really broken down, if you hear national, how much Taylor Swift is bringing nationally, check out his check of the numbers, because it's a really good, better than what I just Some of them are very, very flimsy. I will retweet that Noah Pransky article for NBC News during the commercial break. Marshall, thank you.